And I just did a calculation this morning. You are the first one to hear that, that the object will come closest to Jupiter on March 16th, uh, 2026, and it will arrive exactly. 3i Atlas reaches Jupiter's hill sphere, the invisible boundary where the planet's gravity balances the sun's pull. And here's what has astronomers frozen. The object is arriving with a precision error of one part in 26,000. That's like throwing a needle from Los Angeles and landing it on the edge of a coin in New York. After crossing billions of miles of interstellar space, experiencing chaotic solar heating, and navigating gravitational turbulence, Atlas is sliding into a zone 33.24 million miles from Jupiter with an accuracy margin of only 35,000 miles. No natural comet has ever shown this kind of controlled approach. 230 observatories worldwide tracked the course correction. It happened right after perihelion, exactly when and where it needed to guide the object toward this boundary. If you've been following 3i Atlas and something about this feels impossibly precise, hit subscribe right now, drop a like, and let's break down the math, the maneuver, and the three scenarios scientists are watching for when Atlas reaches Jupiter's edge, because what happens next could rewrite everything we think we know about interstellar visitors. When 3i Atlas first appeared moving in from deep interstellar space, it followed a normal hyperbolic trajectory. Speed, direction, orbital shape, everything matched expectations for a visitor not born in our solar system. Researchers cataloged it as another rare traveler passing through without surprises. Then it got closer to the sun, and the behavior changed. After perihelion, the closest approach to the sun, the object showed non-gravitational acceleration not unusual by itself. Comets experience this when solar heating vaporizes surface ice, releasing jets of gas that act like tiny thrusters, but these jets normally fire chaotically. Comets twist, spin, wobble. Their outgassing creates uneven motion that rarely forms clean patterns. The thrust directions cancel out. The path becomes noisy, unpredictable. Atlas behaved differently. The acceleration was weak but directional. It pushed the object slightly away from its original track, and the direction of that push was almost perfect for guiding it toward Jupiter's hill sphere boundary. Not close, almost perfect. Over 200 observatories worldwide detected the deviation and refined the same conclusion. The object was no longer following the path predicted by gravity alone. Every updated model showed a growing match between its new routine and the hill sphere edge. This level of agreement across global datasets makes the course change difficult to dismiss. The acceleration pushed Atlas by exactly the amount needed to reach its current target. If the push had been stronger or weaker by even a small margin, the object would miss the boundary by millions of miles. The timing matters too. The correction happened sharply after passing close to the sun, the optimal moment for a trajectory adjustment. Earlier or later, an Atlas wouldn't arrive at this narrow zone the effect could still be natural, but the combination of timing, angle, and precision has kept the scientific community questioning what exactly is happening. Understanding how extreme this precision is requires looking at how interstellar objects normally behave. They enter the solar system with unpredictable rotations and uneven surfaces that react differently to sunlight. Small changes in heating push them in many directions. Their final paths are difficult to predict. Even with advanced models, astronomers expect wide ranges of possible outcomes, error margins in the millions of miles. Atlas has broken that expectation. Every new observation shows a slimmer margin of error instead of a wider one. The growing accuracy suggests the object is following a clean, stable line that doesn't match the noisy patterns of natural comet motion. This isn't gradual drift. The precise approach didn't happen slowly over many months. It began sharply after the sun passage. The slight acceleration created exactly the correction needed to slide into the narrow zone around Jupiter's hill sphere. The chance of a natural push happening at the exact strength and direction required is extremely low. This is why researchers are questioning whether simple physics alone can describe this motion. The effect resembles a final steering adjustment used in spacecraft navigation rather than a random burst of gas. Here's the comparison. Imagine throwing a dart while blindfolded from one continent and hitting a bullseye on another. Now imagine the dart self-corrects mid-flight to compensate for wind, gravity, and atmospheric drag, all without guidance systems. That's the level of precision Atlas is demonstrating.
natural processes don't produce this kind of accuracy across interstellar distances. The Hill Sphere marks the region where a planet's gravity becomes stronger than the sun's pull. For Jupiter, this zone stretches tens of millions of miles. Most natural objects never hit this boundary because their paths are shaped by chaotic forces. Solar radiation pressure, collisions with dust, uneven outgassing. They either fall deeper into Jupiter's gravitational well or stay far outside its influence. The boundary acts more like a mathematical line than a physical target. Since no object normally aims for this thin transition zone, the fact that Atlas is approaching it so precisely is already surprising. But the boundary is also unique because forces inside it behave differently from forces outside. When an object enters the Hill Sphere, Jupiter's gravity begins to dominate. The object can be captured, accelerated, or ejected. When an object remains outside, the sun's gravity takes the lead, and motion becomes more stable and predictable. The edge between these two regions is a fragile border where a small shift in direction or speed creates completely different futures. It's extremely rare for any comet to match the exact distance, where gravitational powers balance each other. The boundary isn't a place where natural bodies stop, slow down, or adjust direction in controlled ways. Space agencies understand this intimately. When engineers design spacecraft routes, they rely on Jupiter's deep gravitational well to perform slingshot maneuvers. These require careful planning and precise timing because even slight misalignment pushes a spacecraft into a totally different orbit. Missing the edge of the hill sphere by only a few thousand miles can shift a mission by millions of miles later in the journey. It's challenging even for human technology to reach this boundary with exact accuracy. Seeing an interstellar object behave with similar precision raises critical questions about the forces acting on it. The shift near the sun appears to match what a controlled adjustment would look like during a space mission. The object received a gentle push that moved it away from its earlier path. The amount of that push was almost exactly what was required to guide it toward Jupiter's hill sphere edge. Natural comets experience small forces from gas jets when surfaces heat up, but those jets act irregularly, sending objects into messy or unpredictable motion. Atlas hasn't shown chaotic behavior. It continued along a steady line that keeps matching new predictions with surprising accuracy. The correction happened at the perfect time. A change made far earlier or later in the journey wouldn't bring Atlas to the narrow boundary it's approaching now. The solar system is full of moving bodies, varying sunlight intensities, and forces that can push objects off course. Most cometary jets fire in bursts that tend to cancel each other out rather than form clean directions. If Atlas acted like a normal comet, its path would drift millions of miles away from the region it's now approaching. Instead, the push created a clean adjustment placing it on a path that lines up with a single mathematical point across millions of miles of space. When compared with standard navigation methods used in human space travel, the similarity becomes striking. Spacecraft planning to reach small or delicate points in space often perform late course corrections after passing massive objects like the sun. These corrections fine-tune routes with minimal energy. Atlas fits this pattern. It adjusted itself after passing perihelion, then followed the corrected line with almost no drift. The way it holds this route gives the impression of a system reacting to gravitational forces in a controlled manner. This is why some researchers describe it as behaving like a probe instead of a simple, natural rock. Scientists have proposed four main explanations, and none fully resolve the observations. First, observational error. Early measurements of fast-moving objects can contain mistakes. But 230 observatories have tracked ATLAS, and every new dataset confirms the same path with shrinking uncertainty margins. The error explanation becomes harder to support when the object keeps matching predictions with unusual precision. Second, natural outgassing. Heating can trigger repeated gas jets that move a comet gently in one direction. If jets line up with cracks or weak spots on the surface, they can create forces that look organized. The problem? The jets would need to fire at exactly the right strength and angle for a long period. Even small changes would send Atlas far from its current target. The chain of coincidences required makes this scenario possible, but very unlikely. Third, simple coincidence. The solar system has existed for billions of years. Many interstellar objects may have visited undetected. If even a few passed near Jupiter's hill sphere by chance, 
Atlas could be another rare but natural example. Not impossible, but the rarity of the alignment and the clean path leading to this moment make coincidence a weak answer. Fourth, controlled or semi-controlled motion. This doesn't require artificial origin. A unique structure or chemical makeup could allow the object to use sunlight, gravity, or internal processes to guide itself without technology. Some researchers propose that if advanced civilizations navigate through planetary systems, they might use gravity wells and boundary zones like Jupiter's hill sphere. While there's no direct evidence, Atlas's behavior keeps this question open. None of these explanations close the mystery completely. If the answer is an error, coincidence, or normal outgassing, what kind of process produces such steady, precise motion? Three scenarios dominate scientific discussion. First, fragmentation. The competing pull between Jupiter and the Sun creates strong tidal stress. Many comets crack when exposed to rapid gravity changes. If Atlas breaks apart, fragmentation could reveal internal structure no telescope has seen, layers, cavities, unusual materials. This would provide direct evidence of how it formed in another star system, but raise questions about how it survived until now. Second, payload release. Some researchers believe Atlas could release smaller bodies or particles as it slows near the boundary. Natural objects sometimes shed fragments, but doing so near a gravitational transition zone could suggest organized processes. If Atlas drops pieces that follow stable orbits or drift in recognizable patterns, astronomers would study whether they behave like normal comet debris. Any pattern looking too neat or coordinated would challenge understanding of what interstellar objects can do. Third, directional change. Atlas may shift trajectory once it reaches Jupiter's domain edge. A motion change could show the object is sensitive to gravitational landscape and capable of reacting in ways that don't fit simple comet models. If it turns toward a new path, slows further, or enters temporary Jupiter orbit, scientists would gain evidence that its motion involves more than random forces. Even slight adjustment could become one of the investigation's most important clues. The journey of 3i Atlas feels less like random passage and more like a series of careful choices. The alignment, the timing, the calm approach, all point toward a moment that could reveal something far greater than a simple comet. Natural objects don't demonstrate this level of precision across interstellar distances. They don't self-correct with spacecraft-like accuracy. They don't aim for gravitational boundaries that even human technology struggles to reach. Whether the answer lies in exotic internal processes, unknown natural mechanisms, or something we haven't considered, the object is forcing a fundamental question. What kind of forces can maintain such consistent, well-aligned motion across billions of miles? March 16th will tell us more. Until then, the precision remains unexplained, the trajectory remains impossibly clean, and the mystery remains wide open. What do you think is guiding 3i Atlas? Natural physics we don't understand, or something else. Drop your theory below, subscribe for the Jupiter Encounter update, and share this with someone who's been watching this object as closely as you have, because what happens next could change everything.